You know how you know you found your soulmate? She buys you pizza shoes. Not sure if I need a tan or a shave or a tan and a shave. <laughs> What's happening, Beard Army? So we just headed to um, Long Holland's Barbecue to take on the undefeated Breaking Badass Challenge. Uh, it's a rematch. Uh, I tried this about a year ago, probably a little bit more. Um, and uh, yeah, it's basically seven pounds of barbecue food. And uh, my girlfriend is eating. An apple, that's really healthy, babe. Apples are good food. Let's get it. What is happening, Beard Army? Um, yeah, this is uh, Beard Reloaded Episode 5, which is a series uh, you guys probably know uh, where I go back and attempt. Um, a challenge I might have failed in the past. Just posing for a picture here with a spectator. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Longhorn's Breaking Badass Challenge. Seven pounds, apparently, uh, of barbecue food. You can see it all there. About three times the size of my torso. So yeah, started pretty well, um, and that, in case you're wondering, is, I don't know, I think it's crackling. Uh, but yeah, it's basically beef brisket, chicken wings, sausage, uh, beef, uh, some kind of joint of beef, uh, bread, fries, four pots this time of uh, beans and, and some jalapenos as well. Last time there were two pots. Um, I actually originally tried this back, way back in, um, I think it was like March of last year. Uh, a lot of people have asked me to, to try it because it's actually not on, it's on one of my playlists, but it's not on my, uh, my actual uh, channel because it was filmed by a news agency. Uh, and I failed it the first time by one single solitary pot of beans so figured now with my uh, improved eating capacity and speed I'd be way better um, the food here starts great you know I love American barbecue style uh, food um, the uh, chicken ones were amazing the ribs were good um, the sausage was really good too uh, what gets me is this, the, uh, the beef brisket, because by this point it's pretty much cold and it's like trying to chew through an old army boat. Um, so I wasn't a huge fan of the brisket, but uh, a lot of that's probably my own uh, fault, um, just because I, I didn't take it on... Um, as close to the beginning as I probably should have um, and right about now the uh, my new camera uh, let me know if you guys like my new camera actually I think the quality is amazing uh, but it died leading me to uh, switch to the old backup um, at this point um, it's pretty hard I, I didn't leave the beans until last I tried to kind of mix them in uh, with with everything else, um, but for some reason, and I'm not look, knocking long ones here because they're super accommodating. You know, I've, they've invited me down twice to uh, to take on this this challenge. But there's no way this this challenge is seven pounds. I mean, look at it. It's nearly as big as the in size as the the breakfast that I took on a few uh, a few weeks back, which was like the world record breaking biggest English breakfast ever. 
it's maybe not quite as big, but it's definitely not seven pounds. And this thing was it was bigger than last time. I mean, the fries alone were about twice the size. I put up a picture at the beginning of the video, uh, and if you freeze for a night, you can just see the difference. Um, and like I say, four pots of uh, of beans this time. Well, three pots of beans and a pot of jalapenos for some reason, which I don't even get around to. Um, so. Um, yeah, I found it hard. You can see I'm slowing down now. I'm getting pretty, uh, pretty peeved. Uh, yes, it's, uh, at this point, I'm just, just shoveling it down. Uh, but, it's just not moving, and when you get some sort of salty. I would call it like clear. It's like a really. really Sharp, savory taste. When you get something like that and it gets cold, it's so hard to want to eat it. It just straight slows you down. I'm just taking a bunch of risk at this point. You can see it before it's really good. So, guys, yes. Trying to jump up and down here. <laughs> just to make some space. Um, And at this point, it was actually pretty dangerous as well because I had a few bones from the chicken wings left in that big pile of of uh, like fries and I don't know little pieces of farmyard animals left on my I don't want to say plate because it's basically a tray, but you know. And at this point, I've got seven minutes left. And uh, I know what you're thinking, normally, that I'm out of food. <laughs> Wouldn't be uh, a big deal, but... Um, at this point, I just did not want anything more. It wasn't full. Uh, I got my token dessert. This is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cheesecake, which was freaking amazing. Uh, so if you... Uh, uh, if you haven't already, check out Longhorns. This uh, branch has just opened in Headingley. Uh, and I think they're opening a new one somewhere else. Uh, I think there's one actually in... Um, I want to say Manchester, but I might be wrong there. Anyway, check their website. I want to say thanks to Longhorns for inviting me down. Uh, super accommodating as usual. And uh, thanks for watching Beard Army. I'll catch you next time.